use that term family lightly because the way Candace talks about you guys and how much she always missed it in between, I know this is truly a family. Dysfunctional. Yes. Yes. Dysfunctional family. <laughs> That's assumed with the term family. Yes. So. Yes. Why is your chair so much higher than mine? We all have to be the same height. We know you're much taller than all of us. Oh, yes, all right. yes, yes. <laughs> now, the third season of Fuller House, it starts on the same day Full House debuted in 1987, making me feel a little old. I'm sure you guys will. 30 years ago. Now, Bob, after all these years, right. what does that mean to you? Well, it, it seemed like a second, and we really did. When I went back to the, the set and they made it again, and then we've been friends nonstop the whole time. So. Yeah. Uh, it felt natural, yeah. but it does make me feel like, you know, I like a room by the window. <laughs> you, know, I, I, you feel like, you know, it's, I'm, I'm 61, but, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of like a 30-year-old uh, naked. But, um, <laughs> see, this is, they grew up with this kind of talk, and they're fine. <laughs> I saw them. They didn't even budge. It's fine. No, no, We've so learned for, after 30 years, we just go, okay. It sounds this. like the yeah. scene we just saw. Everyone yeah. skates right past it. Right, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're on cruise control yeah. with Bob. It's just... <clears throat> Yeah. Now, Dave, you've known Bob, though, from... <laughs> Sometimes... <laughs> How am I I'll in the middle of this now? <laughs> Can I go over there for a second? Yeah. 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 You've known each other from even before you yes. shot Full House. I was uh, 18 years old. I met Bob in a comedy club in Detroit, and he came I in on I was 22. A on a comedy store tour with two other comedians, and I was just in awe when I saw him, and I said, that's what I want to be. And I said, I want to live with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was reciprocated, kind of. Yeah. Right. I have a question for Candace, Andrea, and Jody. So this season, you all went to Japan. Yes, yes. Yeah, it, it, was, it, it was amazing. It was yeah. amazing. What cultural things did you experience when you were there? We had a fun the, day the, together. The, the, the naked Tell spa day. We, oh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we spent a whole day <laughs> naked well, together. Well, yeah, it was like, it was this amazing Japanese spa. It was like six stories. And, but it was, you know, you like, this is all just naked. And she was like, I don't know. And I was like, come on, we're going. So I, I dragged Candace along. I was like, it'll be like a sister bonding experience. It's going to be amazing. And we a went. Naked sister bonding naked experience. Naked sister bonding experience. We will I never be closer. I didn't want to go until this moment. <laughs> And so we went, and, and the best thing that we did, well, we did a lot of things wrong, but one of the really standout amazing things that we did wrong was we went into the hottest sauna ever, and we came out, and we were like, I'm so hot. Burned our butt. And so, yeah, and there was, like, this little <laughs> fountain thing, and so I go over to it, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's cold water. So we're taking the water out and, like, splashing it and, like, oh, splashing it oh everywhere, no. like, bird bathing it, right? <laughs> she starts to drink it. I go, no, 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 don't drink that. You don't know what kind of water it is. So a couple seconds later, we like turn and there's a little bath over here and we feel that water. It's really cold. So I'm like, oh, wait, this is a cold That's bath a cold to sit in. Tub. So we go sit in it and we wonder why people were kind of looking at us weird. And then we realize everyone's walking over to fill their water bottles at oh, no. the fountain. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And then we we had basically people. just like bird bath it out of the drinking fountain and that I had yelled at her not to drink out of. So. I actually thought it was going to go a different direction. I'm relieved right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You learned a new life skill. I did. This season. I, I, what, when I was mean? in Japan, I brushed up on my teppanyaki cooking skills. Mm -hmm. So, oh. Benihana style, <laughs> I learned how to flip the utensils and make them spin, and I only cut myself once. There's a class for that? <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, there's Double people who will teach it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and this is not your first new life skill that you learned on set, right? Uh, no, I had to learn another life skill 30 years ago in the original Full House. Um, I learned how to ride a unicycle. <laughs> See, that's easy. That's really cool. That's a track. Oh, yeah. We tried to bring it back. And Jeff Franklin really wants me to ride a unicycle on you the new show, to. so I got to take lessons again. <laughs> well, to. you could end up like Jody because we heard, I remember seeing posts where you had yes. that boot on. Oh, you started okay. out a little bit rough this season because? Yeah, I um, was rescuing a little $1 toy for my, my youngest daughter, and I lifted myself up over like a four foot fence and I snapped my ankle, Ooh. my tibia, my fibia, Ugh. had two surgeries. How about your flibia? I had my flibia. <laughs> I think it's my, I don't know, I could be saying it all wrong, but I, I 
really, really screwed it up. I have a huge, you know, five inch steel plate and seven pins and all kinds of You stuff made that right boot now. sexy though. I did see the post. I certainly tried. <laughs> My, yeah, I, I had like had premieres and press and I was like, all right, we're doing pantsuits and flats. <laughs> we got so. very creative with our blocking on the show yeah. to plant Jody in spaces that she couldn't move throughout a yeah. scene. Our, well, our first, our first episode, you know, we have this like musical moment and, um, yeah, I, I was not singing and dancing, but a lot of upper body movement. <laughs> hey, what a lot of jazz hands. A lot of jazz hands. hands. Yeah. I'm hoping to be in a wheelchair next to you. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping well, don't for. Say yeah. no, don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Now, as we all know, Danny Tanner raised his girls with his brother in law, Uncle Jesse, and best friend, Uncle Joey. But Danny had dark hair but all three of his girls were blonde. Yeah. So Uncle Jesse and Aunt Becky both had dark hair, Yeah. but had two blonde twins. Right. Whoa. So the fan Whoa. theory going around Whoa. I, I is that the Uncle theory. Joey is really the father of all of the kids. Uh, okay? Uh, okay? However, if I... It, it, very, it, very but, virile. But in defense Should we of that, call it Modern Family? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are more prepped for this than I am. <laughs> I would just say, the truth of it is, if, not Dave, because Dave and I are best friends, we're brothers, but the IQ of Joey, I think, proves that the girls are not his. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he talks... Oh. No, no, I love Joey. Joey. Wait a minute, Joey. hold on, not let me explain. Dave. Dave. Not Dave. Not Dave's Dave. brilliant. He flies planes, he plays hockey. <laughs> Well, Joey, you have to have a lot of brains. Joey, <laughs> for hockey. Now you do have to have do. brains for hockey. That's why she's married yeah. to Valerie. So that, well, that someone <laughs> can punch you in the back. I'm, I'm yeah. just saying Joey talks to a woodchuck puppet <laughs> and says cut it out for 30 years. And that's pretty much what he does. Yeah. So I'm saying they're my kids. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But, okay. okay. Well, I, wanna, I really want to get through I, this because this is a fun I one. I don't I'm even know. You, you know who the father is of that child, right? We already had this conversation, remember? It's me. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> and for our like encore like performance. Like yes. <laughs> no, well, we have a speed round where you guys answer with the castmate that best fits this. And we've got to go fast because these okay. are good okay. questions. Oh, are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Who's most likely to use their famous catchphrase offset? Dave. <laughs> <laughs> swears, swears the most in front of the kids. Wait, is that Joey Bob. or Bob? I don't know. It's a tie. I think oh, she okay. inherited Probably my talent. I, 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 I hung out Joey. with Bob too much. Okay. <laughs> the most no, nostalgic like... for the old days. Aww. That's my vote. Yeah. I think all of us are. We all I think are. every single one of us. That's okay. why the thing came back, and that's we just actually truly love each other. But she cried a little True. when she talked about you guys. Yeah. Oh, I cry every time I talk about her because I'm always cutting onions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who pulled the best prank on the set, on on the cast mates? I don't know that we ever really pulled many pranks. Not, well, at least well, the kids did. No, you, you, you don't did. know what we did. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to know. We don't want to know what you did. But no. I'm just we'll going to assume on that Dave. One. Okay. I'll tell you later. You're old enough. Who had the <laughs> biggest? Who had the biggest crush on John Stamos? <laughs> No, me. <laughs> no, what are you talking okay, about? Me. I slept Please. with the guy on tape. You weren't sleeping. <laughs> okay, last one real fast. Most likely to be found at craft services. Go. Oh. Oh, Dave. Wow. Dave. Dave won the whole round. Hey, this we want a, a big thank you guys to our friends Candace Cameron Bray, Bob Saget, Jody Sweden, Dave Collier, and Andrea Barber. The third season of Full House begins streaming on Netflix September 22nd, and we will be right back.